Folks, we are on the beach in Cameron, Louisiana. This is about 40 minutes south of Lake Charles, kind of like the uh, southwest Louisiana version of Galveston. But it's a great beach. You're right on the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, very highly rated here for RVers. Open 24 hours, free of charge. Really, really pretty place. Uh, right now, this time of year is great. It's nice and cool. Uh, warm during the day, very sunny. As long as there's not a hurricane in the process, you're all good. So we just pulled in here. Haven't really set up too much yet. Uh, just enjoying it. Thought I'd shoot a video. And this one's actually going to be on some mods that we did recently. Now, before we get into those mods, I'll show you a little bit more of the beach here. Uh, again, you're right on the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, once it gets dark, you can see the lights come on for the rigs out there in the Gulf. I'm not sure if you can see them here. Uh, but a great place to go beach combing and shell collecting. Tested out the all-wheel drive a little bit. Rock solid so far in the sand. It's midweek, so not a lot of people out here. I would imagine on the weekend you're going to have some pretty good crowds. Okay, we're back inside Crater. We're going to talk about a couple of modifications that we did since our last video, also since the Ben Kasky's got last video. And if you haven't seen that one, it's been out for about 12 days. It's got about 75,000 views. I think they did an amazing job. And we've continued working since they did their review. And one of the biggest things that we did was this sink. If you remember from our last one and theirs, this was a very shallow uh, silver sink. Uh, we got one with black. This one can be purchased at Lowe's. Um, I don't think Home Depot has this. We picked it up at Lowe's. But you can see how much deeper this is. Uh, I think it's a lot prettier too. Also, this is something that uh, Sherry installed as well as the soap dispenser. That is not Coachman. But I think it goes really well with all the colors here. Now, if you look underneath the sink, to install this, it's obviously a lot deeper, but you still have a lot of room. And we were very fortunate that plumbing-wise, everything was pretty much the same. Uh, we had to do some cutting out down there to drop the pipes a little bit, but everything drains great. Now, moving on, um, we just I just saw a bunch of videos of some brand new 24 uh, Class B+, plus, Class C, whatever you want to call it, in this group. Um, All-wheel drive on this chassis, cutaways. Um, very similar to the Echo and some others and almost all of them had the same feature and that was this was just a counter and they had a separate induction cooktop single burner that you had to take out set up here plug in use it take it away and put it away and the people doing the videos argued that this is a better system because then you have counter space for the whole rest of the time I don't think it's a better system because you don't want to set it up take it down put it away have it take up your cabinet space when you've got cabinet space here, this is what we do, just to protect that cooktop. And this is just, you know, a couple millimeters thick of uh, foam rubber uh, that you can get just about anywhere. Cut your yoga mat up and that will be one. Uh, and you put it over and it protects it and you've got all your countertop all day long and it's not going to get scratched up. The other thing that was not mentioned, I don't know if we ever did it, but the Van Kaskis missed it in theirs. And that's you also have this right here that extend, extends your counter. And we've got a couple of comments on the video saying, oh, the kitchen is just way too small. I've seen B-Van class uh, with bigger kitchens. I don't think so. We've had the B-Van. Um, when you look at all of this, it's actually a pretty good size. The other thing that uh, the Van Kaskis, uh, Bob, when he was shooting this, walked right by, uh, which is a part of the kitchen. And we had a couple comments saying, well, there's not any room for your food. Well, you actually have a four to four floor to ceiling pantry here and they are quite deep they actually go the whole length oops <laughs> there you go now over on this side they did mention that it has a fridge obviously and i think they liked it uh, but we didn't really get a good look inside Not a huge freezer, but it's a freezer. So the other big change is the shower. Uh, if you remember before, it had a kind of a faux marble look and a lot of dark colors in it. And we didn't like that because it wasn't fooling anybody. It wasn't marble. 
uh, and we didn't think it was in keeping with the rest of it. So we went with just a um, gloss white. This is a uh, tub and tile epoxy uh, paint that you put on here, and it took about four coats of it before it really covered everything completely and you don't see anything. It wasn't really our preference, but it's good for right now until we find what we think is perfect uh, tile to go in here. Now, there are also a lot of comments on the Van Kasky's video that it was just too small, it's too tiny. Well, you need to understand the Van Kasky's are very tall people. So for us normal sized people, I'm about 5'11", it's not any problem at all. Now I'm gonna get in here, I still have my shoes on, but you might remember when um, Hillary got in here, she hit her head right here. Well, with my shoes on, I can't hit my head right there. Um, so it really is a, a good size shower, and keep in mind, you're not in a big diesel pushing A uh, class, and you know, it's about as good as you're gonna get for this. The last thing I wanna mention, because we haven't really talked about it in our videos, uh, but the Van Kasky's, uh, climbed into the bed, Bob did, kind of show the size of it, and there were a number of comments about the beds just being too small. Um, and I can see with somebody like Bob in it, it might look small, but this bed actually is a standard full-size bed that you go to any mattress store and buy that type of bed. Uh, it just looks like it might be a little shorter, a little uh, less width, but it's not. It's full-size, standard sheets fit that, and we'll get a better close-up here. And that finishes up this video, and we'll see you again when we have some more mods for you.